the Glazerin Alpha. This is like all Glazerin. It is made out of flat stainless, flat on the front, milled out on the back. We have the reed is held in place by two security screws and we have a spiraled loop trigger. Let's go ahead and let's give a comparison to some harps in similar price ranges and below from Glazram. Let's get a bell ring and a range on this. Very clear, loud, piercing bell ring. The star is going to be in the same price category. Good bell ring, not quite as clear and crisp as the Phantom. Here is the Rainbow. Good bell ring, still not as clear and piercing. Now let's get a, go ahead and we'll get a range and just see what this harp's capable of. See how it moves, how it turns. This harp moves extremely well, very crisp, very clear overtones, and a wealth of overtones to pull from. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and compare it to all the other Glazern I have. Here is the Rainbow, a little bit lower, bassier in tone. Rain, or the, the star, Glazerin star, the star has a really good realm of overtones, really good depth, really good clarity. Not quite as clear, crisp, and piercing as the Alpha. Let's move into the Rainbow. Rainbow as well is going to be decently clear. Um, good wealth of overtones, still not as crisp and as piercing as this Alpha is, but the Rainbow isn't going to be as picky as, say, the Star is. It's going to move a little bit more similarly to the Alpha, which the Alpha, for the depth and clarity, it moves very quickly. Rainbow as well. The Star isn't going to move as fast. Well, I'll go ahead and we'll give the Pilot a try. Good clarity, not high volume. Heart moves pretty decently well. Going on to the lower end, we're getting into the lighthouse. Decent clarity, decent volume. The harp, it's not a fast moving harp. A little bit more flexible, softer of a reed. Good harp as well. The lowest dollar Glazerin I have would be the Compass. Not a whole lot there for the Compass. Compass is meant for beginners. It's a harp with larger gaps, smaller embouchure, meant for beginners. So out of all the Glazerin that I've sampled this far, the one that I am most impressed with is the full size Alpha. Big reach into the overtones. Very, very clear, very crisp overtones. And this harp, it moves quick. You can hammer on it. Very excellent harp. If I had to give this harp a rating, I'd probably give it a nine, yeah, nine out of 10 for Lazarin's line. Out of all the ones, I'm most impressed with it. And I've got, I've got more, more of these coming. These are, these are very, very nice harps. Very, very piercing, clear overtone, which is a good thing to see in a harp, and especially to get that clear and that loud of a harp that can move. So I would rate this harp as excellent, nine out of 10. Thumbs up from the Bedford Harpery. Well, that's gonna be it for this uh, review and comparison. Like, share, and subscribe for more Harpery. Harp out.